what we're going to look at in this video is um, your text align, right? So we can align to the top, middle, or bottom. The default is your text align to the top, right? You've, you've seen that. Let's just make this smaller a little bit. As I continue to type, right, it starts at the top. But we can change that so this aligns to the middle. So if we look at this, you can see it's aligning to the middle of my paragraph here. Right, so, um, well, it will when I change it. So we're gonna go to Object, Text Frame Options, or Command B, and where it says Vertical Justification, where it says Top, change that to Center. And you can see this is now aligned to the center. So as I continue to type, right, it's starting from the middle. I could take that same idea, and we'll go back to that, which is Command B, and align to the bottom. So now as I start typing, it starts up from the bottom. What's really useful about that is let's say I'm aligning a picture um, next to it and I really want them to hit at the same point or something else that's aligning there, I can set it um, to align from the bottom. So let's see that in action as well as uh, look at some other things. So not only are you gonna align this to the bottom, but we're gonna add these rules that are underneath that. Okay, so the first thing is let's just move this all the way over to the edge and go all the way to the top. Um, we're going to change this typeface um, to DIN. Okay, um, we're going to make this one a little bit bigger and bolder. Just so again playing around with um, how to do this. Um, we also want to set this to just justification. Right, so Command Shift J, um, and to get the justification rules, uh, Command Option Shift J, and these are the numbers you're looking for. Okay, um, if you don't know Command Option Shift J, um, we want to get your paragraph palette, and on the flyout menu, go to justification. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to have a line underneath this and a line underneath this. So the first thing is let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And um, we're going to select everything, do Command B, and we're going to say we're going to align this to the bottom. Right? So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is let's go ahead and um, go into our paragraph rules. So go into paragraph, flyout menu. We're going to go to paragraph rules or Command Shift J. We're going to turn um, rule below and we're going to turn it on. And you can see it puts a line right below it. Now, let's just take a look at a couple things inside of paragraph rules. You can change its color, right? We can change the, the variation of this. You can change the tint, right? So if we don't want it to be all black, but maybe 50% or whatever this is. Um, left indent, we'll just indent it from the left. Let's make this bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, so you see it indented from the left. Let's take that back down. You can indent it from the right, right? Um, and offset. Offset is really important because that's how much we're going to use with it. Right now, I just want it set to zero. Let's change this to one, okay, and do okay. We do want to set one here as well. So Command Shift J. Sorry, Command Option J. We're going to turn paragraph below on, and. Um, Let's go ahead and just do okay for a second. I want to take this and in fact, I want to align this a little bit higher up. There we go. Because my paragraph rule is going to go drop below my, um, my text box here. So I just made it bigger and the type I changed. Now you could change this to dots if you wanted to. All right, and there we go. So just some interesting things that you can kind of set throughout. Now, if I select these two and do Command Option J, right, go to Paragraph Rules, turn it on, and you can see it happens within each paragraph. Okay, so that is looking at paragraph rules and some of your vertical justification.